Welcome to the Impact Show. You join us at the Asprey. I'm Piers Ward. And I'm Andy Pradlin. And you're watching me and my golf TV. And today we're answering your questions on driving. Let's take charge of your game. Okay guys, welcome to the Impact Show. This is where we answer your questions on the golf swing to help create more impact in your game. Yes, and this is all part of our new schedule, please, for 2015. Exciting. Exciting schedule where we're going to be posting a topic each Monday on the golf swing and you're going to be posting your questions and we're going to be answering as many as we can through the year. And this is going to be happening every day, really, Monday to Thursday, yep. where we're going to be picking different things each day. Tomorrow is a good one, exciting one, more of an entertaining one, skills and drills, so skills check and that drills. out. Um, but we've got something each day for you that, we'll, uh, that we're going to be giving you. So um, if you want to get involved in posting some questions on the topic, please go to our Facebook, Twitter or Instagram today and use the hashtag Impact Show. You can get involved and hopefully we could be answering your question. Absolutely. Also, so we've got a good one today, Pierce, all about driving. We posted a couple of weeks ago. It is all about driving, yes. I had fantastic. I had lots of great questions. This one's from Danny Alessandrelli and he's asking, should we transfer weight the same amount with the iron and the driver? Great question, Andy. Very good question. Over to you. Very good question. Okay, so weight shift in the iron. I mean, weight shift full stop in the golf swing pierce. I would say the majority of amateurs don't shift enough weight, yeah. um, and this leads to poor contact when it comes to irons. Now, I think it's a great question, Danny, here, is because that when using an iron and using a driver, it is, it is a slightly different shot. Yeah. Now, we often talk about, Pierce, that using a driver, we've got to treat it like a speciality shot. Because it's a totally different lie, isn't it? It's a different lie. We only use it probably, let's say, 10, maybe 12, 12 times around. So we're not using it as much as the iron. And also, it's teed up, OK? We're teeing it up. We're looking to sweep the golf ball off the tee. Where with an iron, we're hitting it off the ground and we're looking to get that nice, solid contact where we get the ball turf. So Absolutely. it is very different. So. First of all, let's show you what we're looking for in terms of a good weight shift with the iron, and then we'll show you uh, what majority of the best players do with, with the woods and mm -hmm. show you what we're looking for with yep. the woods. So, okay, let's take my setup. Now from here, you can see I've got my analysis line in there. If I swing back to the top, now what we like to see with our players is from the top of the golf swing, we like to see that we start with the lower body, we shift that weight to the lead side, and when we are at the golf ball, you'll notice now I am against this line. I've moved and closed that gap and you'll see I've got the shaft leaning forward. Now this really, Pierce, is crucial for hitting that golf ball followed by the turf. Absolutely crucial, but it's very difficult as we know, and if you don't shift weight, it's very difficult to get that shaft leaning forward. So Definitely is. The, the, the transference of the weight helps him get the leaning of the shaft forward. So that's going to really help, also it's going to help with pe penetration, yep. the ball flight, but contact really is key with that. Now, with the driver, as we mentioned, we're sweeping it off the tee. So, it's not a necessity to actually shift the weight and get to that line and get the shaft leaning forward, okay? Because we're not looking to strike the golf ball on the way down. We are looking to sweep it off the tee, okay? So from the top of the golf swing, let's do that again, make sure I don't hit that bag. I was close. So from the top of the golf swing here now, it's not a necessity to get to this lead side and be in this position because that will deal off the driver and that will get you hitting too much down. So from here, what we would like to see a little bit more of is top of the back swing, we like to see start with a weight shift, okay, but we return to a very different impact position where I haven't quite got my weight to that lead side and the shaft is in a more neutral position there, yeah. Pierce, at impact. That creates a better loft, but it also helps to create this shallower angle here as opposed to me sort of moving over there. Definitely. Now, obviously, there's lots of golf swings on uh, YouTube now, lots of slow motions of the top players. So you will see some of the top players who are quite aggressive in moving forward. You know, they have the club head speed. They have the skill to move forward and actually transfer maybe a little bit more weight than amateur golfers. Generally, yes, as Andy says, we want to move the weight, but because of the lie, because of the fact that the amateur golfers want to hit on the way up and generally want to hit a draw, you know, being back behind that analysis line that Andy had before, then that's Okay. Yeah, and you often see this with the top pros, is you'll see that their iron swing, they will be a lot more here, and their driver swing, swing they will be definitely more yeah. back of it. And like you say, that just creates a slightly different um, impact and creates different dynamics. But that's the way, I suppose, Pierce, the difference between swinging with an iron and swinging with a driver. Yeah. You know, I now have a different feeling with my driver Absolutely. than I do with my irons. And yeah. I think if you treat that driver like a specialist shot, yeah. um, you know, it, it's going to make a difference. And I think it's, it's really important, key to remember also, is we're not saying to you as, as well after this video, go out there and try not to shift weight. Okay? Definitely not. Because the majority of people don't do it enough. <laughs> but all we're saying is, well, okay, look, we still want a weight shift, but it's not going to be 
the same as with an iron. It's more of an education of what actually happens, Danny, as opposed to what you should do. So yes, I mean, you know, we often, one of the biggest drills that we get people to do when they hit drivers is to make sure that they finish with their weight on their lead side. Yeah. So they have shifted their weight, but you do, and because Andy said, because of the lie, then you don't need to shift the weight exactly the same. Definitely, and there's something I do too much, so I'm actually working on keeping it back a little bit with the driver. You are, absolutely, absolutely. Right, should we watch hit one then? Yeah, let's give it a go, yeah? So let me make sure I've got some space. So with my driver, again, I, you know, I'm working on sort of staying a little bit more behind it. I don't have any, any trouble here shifting nope. weight at all, do I? No, so, not at all. Okay, so from so here load now, it behind and I'm going to feel like I stay behind this one a little bit more. So, uh, Danny, I hope that helps. Um, as that was more of an education as opposed to giving you a drill. So you go to meandmygolf.com over the last year, you've seen lots of drills. We are going to be putting more videos like this in there as well. So not only will there be drills on the website, there'll be these education videos yeah, as well. Definitely. And we'll be having five a week going up as well. So Monday to Friday, a new video going up. So well worth checking that out. Okay, hashtag impact show. Make yes. sure you go to Facebook, involved, Instagram, guys. Twitter. Get involved. We want to speak to you. Got some fantastic questions for that. We have some fantastic questions for this video. Please keep it up for us. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Philip. <laughs>